This, this, this is a Tape Deck Podcast. Hello, and welcome back to Inside the Runner Studio. This is your host, Tom, and with me as always are Aaron, Michael, and Diana. Hello. 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 And we are joined by our friend, Shawnee. Shawnee? <laughs> Did I get that right? That's closer. That's closer. Yeah. Get there. Yeah. It's Shawnee. 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 Yeah. Well, welcome. Yeah. And and uh, you are several time zones away. I am. You are I in, am in the Netherlands. Not to be confused with <laughs> New Zealand. <laughs> That's where Laura Duxon's from. Yeah, and not to be... No, not, she's what? from the Netherlands as well. I know. And not to be referred to as Holland. No. No. Correct? That is yes, a region. You're See, right. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm doing better. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. Good. Yeah. After marathon weekend, I feel way better than normally. Yeah? Oh, nice. This is weird. I'm still not used to it. And I know it will go away, but oh well. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Well, you know the drill. We're going to ask you some um, running-related questions, some non-running-related questions, and just get to know you. But before uh, we do, do you want to talk a little bit about yourself? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I am Shawnee, and I'm 24 years old, and I'm from the Netherlands. And I'm part of Roll Disney, which is the role category in Disney races as a chair athlete. I don't think, so I know we, we have talked to a hand cyclist, but I don't think we've Wendy, talked to yeah. anybody, Wendy. Uh, Wendy, who's incredible and winning everything, but I don't think oh we've God. talked to, I know she's, she's insane. Um, <laughs> <laughs> talk to someone who's participated in role Disney like you do. So we're excited to, to hear about it and learn more about it. So I'm excited. And after uh, Michael's rant about wheelchair athletes <laughs> on our last episode, Wait, I knew. Positive rant. Positive, it was a positive rant. rant. Yeah. I was proud. <laughs> we got a lot of people who applauded that. Uh, that <laughs> applauded it. So. That, uh, we had a I, lot of people repost that. I love that. A good, a good Michael rant. Yes. It was a positive rant, not a negative rant. Let's clear that up. <laughs> I love it. Um, but yeah, so I know like you had reached out and we're like, oh yeah, we should definitely talk about this more. So I'm yeah. so excited to have you. So I've got our first question. Um, so I want, we want to hear, I think just a little bit more about your journey, you know, how long you've been, I don't want to say running, but rolling, right? <laughs> Roll Disney. And what inspired you to start? Actually, I started as Run Disney. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. It, for me, it started two weeks after the Disneyland Paris races mm. in 2016. Mm. Mm. Nice. As I was following a lot of running YouTubers and a Dutch radio man, and they posted, they were invited by Run Disney to do the races there in 2016, the first mm. year. And I saw those videos and I was like, I'm a big Disney fan. Disneyland Paris is my home park. Yep. I need to do it in 2017. So two weeks after that the race uh, had happened, I started training myself and I have hypermobility. So my joints dislocate the whole day. Mm. So the doctor said, yeah, that's not a smart idea, my friend. Mm. (laughs) But I still did. (laughs) And the next year in 2017, I um, signed myself up for the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Challenge, which is the 5K, 10K and the half. Yes, we have a challenge with all three in them. It's amazing. We we even have more right now. We now have the 10K and half marathon challenges and the 5, 10 and half. So we get five medals after three races. I always say that they need to have, yeah, they need to have more options for the challenges for the other weekends here in, in Disney World. Yeah. And I'm very jealous because we did Disneyland Paris 2016 the first year and they just had the half in the 5K and not the 10K and there was no challenge. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like we're all coming back to uh, Disney. Oh, Paris. I would do it every year. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Please do. So I did in 2017, I signed up for all three. 
the 5k i walk ran with a friend of mine who was disappointed after 1k already in me because i walked <laughs> more than she expected because um. still my joints dislocate so that was not a fun one the 10k i did with my mom who tried to push me which was not fun again Aww. and after the 10k i found out that at the 5k Remy the Red was there with his car Aww. and I cried the whole night even <laughs> though I took a picture at the 10k Aww. he was like my dream meet uh. so I cried the whole night and I couldn't Aww. do the half because I had no energy <laughs> which was the no. worst <laughs> so that year I only did the 5 and the 10 even though I was signed up for the challenge interesting but I did met Paula Radcliffe that was cool. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. I love him. <laughs> and, and I cheered for the half as I made a sign for my mom to hold for me. So now mm-hmm. I hold it myself. Others, yeah. Yep. That's cool. So that was fun. And after that, I after 2016, I also started a Facebook page about Run Disney for Dutch and Belgium runners. Oh, okay. Which is fun. And that's also why Disneyland Paris races feel like camp now. Mm. And in 2018... <laughs> I signed up for the half like a month before because in Disneyland Paris, you could do that right then. Now, not anymore, but untrained. It was not fun. (laughs) (laughs) I had to be carried to my hotel by Raz Runs. Oh my gosh. It happened. Oh no. I fainted after the finish. (gasps) Oh my gosh. Oh (laughs) jeez. It was not a fun time. (laughs) Oh my <laughs> That's God. a story and a half, man. <laughs> yeah. And after that, I trained a lot. In 2019, I did the 36K challenge, so the 5, the 10, and the half. And I did the wine and dine five weeks after that. That was one of the worst races I ever had. During oh, my the gosh. Half. Oh, wow. My back dislocated. Oh, no. Oh, my in. gosh. None it of this sounds worst. great. It took me more than four hours. But I was determined. And after that, somebody, the chair at least invited me uh, to try their chairs before the race. And I was like, this is cool. So then I trained in a chair a whole year. And the trainer mm. said, yeah, you're never going to get to the point that you can do more than 5K in a chair. Then I asked for a day chair. And now I'm here, double dopey, three-time marathoner wow. in a chair. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. you you know, when someone says you can't do it. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's awesome. Uh, you got to prove them wrong. So since 2019, that was my first races on feed. And 2022, Dopey were my first races in chair. And I did Dopey. <laughs> mm. Nice. I was like, go big or go home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. I love it. It's it's like we're international, so we have to fly a long time to get this there. And only yeah. doing a five k is like, yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like we Go won't for we, it all. we won't drive a half an hour for a five k. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, we had somebody to come meet us for a five k that was an hour away, and they acted like we were asking them to hike Everest. Like how far? I mean, like, that's sort of how <laughs> I <were>. react <laughs> to you. You can ask uh, Frumpa. That's how I react every time. He's like, do you want to do this one over the, that's over the bridge? I'm like, I have to go over the bridge. So no, <laughs> to Philly, so I get that. Yep. So yeah, if you're coming to the United States, you might as well uh, make it well worth it and do it all. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, for you. I had a, like a chair question. So like I've seen your chair, you use, uh, there's like almost an extra piece of like, so it's a typical four wheel chair, but then you adapt it with say a third wheel. Cause it then lifts up to two front wheels. Right. Yeah. I have, it's a almost very like an weird, adapted. Yeah. I have a very weird adaptation, which they have never seen at run Disney. So they had pictures of my mm. chair at the cruise terminal and at the <laughs> athletes with disability stand, because it's a new thing even though there are already hmm. three versions of it, but oh well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm new, apparently. Last year I did it with a wheel uh, which only lifts up your two front casters, so your tiny okay. wheels in front. But that one you have to steer a lot with your arms, and if uh. the road is angled, hmm. 
it gets bad. So I had to walk every overpass last year because I couldn't get up by myself. Wow. And this year I bought a new one. And this one makes my chair like a racing chair. And a racing chair has two big wheels in the back where you push on with mm-hmm. push rims. And one, fro- uh, one wheel in the front. Mm. And it has a steering and a braking mechanism. And normal day chairs don't have that. And I now have a piece which I can click onto my wheelchair, which lifts up the front casters and makes me a racing chair. So I have a compensator, which now makes me go straight without using my hands. So I don't have to steer a lot with my shoulders anymore. So that makes it now possible for me to do the races all by myself. And I have a steering and a braking mechanism, but we will get to that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually looking at pictures on your Instagram yeah. of it because I, I did notice that it was different when you came in for the pictures, but I never actually like looked at it. So yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so it yeah, essentially it's... adapts a four wheelchair into a racing chair. Yeah. Yeah. And now they officially see me as a racing chair as well because I have the same adaptations mm-hmm. or the same okay. things a racing chair does gotcha. have to have. So even though I'm a bit heavier than a racing chair, as those are built exactly for, for racing, it. Yeah. But for me, this works way better as I train in a racing chair for a whole year. So this works better with my joints as I don't have to lay that flat as they do in a racing chair. Mm. I, d- I dislocated my hips and my uh, lower back every time I was in a racing chair. Oh, oh geez. And wow. now I have my own soft seating and I don't have an <laughs> issue. I, I, I have my back dislocated the whole race. What? But I'm used to that. Oh, what? my so- God. <laughs> It's fine. My back just dislocated itself. Yeah. So, I'm... like, does it like easily go back <laughs> into place, or does somebody have to like my back? Ba- my back? No. It okay. takes a couple hours. But, but does it do it on its own? Uh, if I do some things, I can make it work. Ooh. I did a marathon last year where I laid down on the floor at kilometer thirty okay. and tried to get it back into place, and it didn't work out. Oh, but sometimes it does work. You find your ways. So That's ca- what training she's, is for. Diana and I's face is just like, and she's so casual like, about it. I'm like, my arm feels weird. I'm not running today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this is what you, you feel you like. Don't, you don't even know how far my life goes, my friend. Oh, yeah. oh my God, wow. I love it. Um, all right. Wow, I don't even know how to follow that up with a question. But uh, <laughs> now, as you've gotten into it more, uh, do you have a preferred distance uh, that you do? It feels a bit weird to say it, but I like Dopey as it's not too far and it's pretty easy. <laughs> this, this year, okay. Dopey was okay. like... I'm, I'm, I'm like looking into ultra marathons now okay and there's one in a couple of weeks i want to do but i don't have the money for it mm. but they do allow chairs which okay. is the first oh, okay. yeah but for me dopey is not really a challenge anymore as the marathon is not a real challenge anymore i set a pr with 17 minutes oh, for okay. this marathon mm. so i'm like going for the prs i'm not a boston qualifier at this point but Maybe in 10 years. Nobody knows. Mm-hmm. That's I'm so doing fun. I'm for fun, but I like the dopey distance. Oh, cool. Also, it works that I have a jet lag coming into Florida. <laughs> uh, and you get rest. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's in my head, it's six hours later. So if we have to yeah, wake up so at two, it's oh, eight in the morning. Like nobody, that's yeah, a good point. Yeah, yeah, you're going west. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why I love the Disneyland races because it's three hours behind where we are. And I'm like, this feels like we're getting up at a normal time. And I just stay on the East Coast uh, schedule the whole that's time a, I'm there. It's makes fantastic. Total sense. It's amazing. That makes sense. I'm mm-hmm. going to have, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that it's for amazing. the Disneyland races. It's cool. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> now you mostly do Disney races, but would you do a race without a medal? The ultra one I want to do, you get an award. And not okay. a medal. I would do that, but if I 
get a towel or something like no <laughs> exactly no, exactly my medals are the thing i'm running for my friend that's the right that's the right answer yep they are my kids <laughs> <laughs> do you have a big display for them yes i do yeah. okay you'll have to share that with us at some point i I'd also like to have see. a trophy from wheelchair racing Ooh. oh awesome and that's i made fun. myself a trophy for the castaway key 5k as i was oh, the only cool. chair athlete Oh, there you that, go. That's cool. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> now, when you're when you're doing these races, um, have you ever worn a costume? Do you wear matching outfits? I did a matching costume once in Disneyland Paris. We did almost all the characters of Inside Out, oh, and cute. I made them, and they were glow in the dark as well with a light up Ooh. orb. That was super cool. I love and that. And the rest. Every race, I'm using a costume. Yes. Now, who are when, you? Who are you in that? In from I, I was out? sadness, and people didn't <laughs> recognize me. Who are my friends? Two weeks later, they were like, "We took a picture together," and I'm like, "Yeah, we stood in line for 15 minutes during the race." I just like. I'm just picturing like sadness as like a wheelchair racer. Like I just feel no, I, like I wasn't. Oh, you I wasn't didn't do the wheelchair chair. then? <laughs> okay. No, I wasn't. Gotcha. But I have to make adaptations to the costume to make them work in a chair. Mm. I was just going to say, have you seen, because some people decorate their chairs and stuff. Have you thought about oh, like you making your chair into something like that's like, or this, like for a car's race, you could make your car into the, a car? I have a whole list of costumes oh. which I can do in my chair. I love even, that. Even to the point of doing aerial with a fin and a tail and everything oh. like that. Oh, I love yeah, that. The whole front part because you have the, the one wall, you have the one wheel in the front, you can make that into her tail. Oh, yeah, or a oh. carriage for Cinderella or the RC race or a I fin. love it. Oh, I have I'm a whole list. I'm this. But I the fact this. is... I have to fly to America. I get it there. The yeah. Yeah. There you go. And I this is fair. Well, maybe, maybe we could uh, get some of our friends who do costume design to to like make it and 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 have it ready so that when we get there yeah. to some place, we can adapt your chair on site. That's the way to go. Uh, have, I think. Have you have you seen the chair at least this year? Header with a whole ho hockey. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw her like yeah. ten with times. Net, yes. yes. Yes, she was awesome. That was so cool. I she did it so every times. day. Yeah, yeah, I saw her every day, actually. That was yeah. so cool. She's a friend of mine, and she's awesome. But for the Disneyland Paris races, I'm for sure planning on doing those extreme costumes, mm -hmm. as that's only a drive away. So I can make that work. I'm Very super cool. excited to see what you do for that. Uh, I have a whole list for two years now. Oh, gosh. I know. Have they announced if they're bringing that back anytime soon? Or I haven't I, seen anything. I've I, been waiting. I asked <laughs> at the expo and they told me they are working on contracts and it can still be a yes or it can still be a no, mm. but they are working on they're it. Trying. Well, last year at the expo for Marathon Weekend, they said, no, it has been a no for four months already for 2022. And I was like, okay, but they haven't com communicated at all in years as their communication is the worst for <laughs> any race ever. Yeah. <laughs> and it has been like that since 2016. So, yeah. It's but and... also the issue is half of Disneyland Paris is now a building place. Yeah. So half of the roads we use for the races are not there right now. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Or they uh... don't even exist anymore or will never come back. So gotcha. Interesting. Yeah. Well, and least... they have issues with the village next door as they don't want us to run through it anymore uh, uh, so it are a lot of things which they have to work out yeah that makes sense yeah that's like the city of anaheim they're like yeah they don't that's want what us i was there. thinking that was the yeah <laughs> all right so i know i know we we could talk about this forever but i think i have the the question about running etiquette what are your <laughs> running etiquette pet peeves <laughs> oh <laughs> I'm passionate, my yep. friend. People wearing those headphones who can't hear mm -hmm. those chair athletes screaming on the top of their lungs. Mm -hmm. As we are like a truck. We can't steer or brake around you. Yeah. It's the worst. 
and going uphill we will always scream like we're coming uphill we're going downhill as well as that's how yeah. it goes yeah that's not how this year went for a lot of chairs yeah well and, and disney races are hard with etiquette anyway with people all over the course it's i would say kind of yeah. the worst as far as runner etiquette but i can't even imagine what that feels like in a wheelchair yeah it's like super scary as this year a lot of I feel like a lot of new runners did the half marathon and mm. they didn't know mm. about the running on the left and walking on the right. So mm-hmm. a lot of people were running all over and we start a bit earlier, two minutes. So we have a bit of a buffer, but people will pass me at the first mile yeah. as I'm not the fastest, but people never see the fact that uphill we're going like slower than yeah. running people you know As, yeah that's hard work to go up a hill oh it is the contemporary tunnel underpass is the worst Ooh, yeah. that's when yeah. michael lost it right <laughs> on, on these yeah. people yes. <laughs> oh but i did as well as i almost <laughs> crashed there a yeah, chair at least crashed i asked her if she was okay her husband was with her she was okay and like when i was all the way under somebody almost jumped in front of me so <gasps> Yeah. yeah, but that wasn't the worst part. But this is how it goes on the half marathon. Four chairs were crashed because people jumped in front while we scream on the top of our lungs like wheelchair on the left as we go fast down those hills. And if people don't move, we can't break or mm-hmm. steer around you. It's like a hazard if people wear those headphones or don't hear you at all. I know mm-hmm. there are deaf people as well. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I get that. But a lot of times people will have to pull other people from up front out of my way. And that makes a scary situation as well. And it's just really scary if people don't want to move as I can't go around you or break for you. So it will be a hit. And this year I was the unlucky one on a downhill and somebody... Yeah, I crashed. I, I back. thought you did, right? Yeah. Yeah, I lost a piece of my tooth. My whole lip was split in two. My nose, mm. everything is open. My yeah, because I saw you on marathon day, and yeah. I saw your face had um had some contusions and some. Yeah, wow. yeah, I couldn't smell on, mar- on marathon day as my lip was that thick that I couldn't do that, and my nose was three times bigger as it was. I was the mm. worst yeah. one Disney crash they had. Wow. Okay, yeah, because I had I heard of several crashes through the weekend, yeah. but I I was pretty sure that I had heard yours was was pretty gnarly. Oh, my whole costume was covered in blood, as it was like. Yeah, yeah, because that it was yeah. not dripping, my friend. It was not dripping. Oh my god! Oh, gosh. And the man who did it ran off, and he's in my finished pictures, so I now know his name. <laughs> <laughs> did you message him? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I did send him a text, but I didn't have a response yet. But he he's a pilot. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and I'm here I, like I'm expecting I, not you won't hear from him. I'm I'm certain I won't hear from him. Yeah. That's probably why he ran off because he thought I was gonna sue him, even though I don't <laughs> even know how that works. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Um but it was yes. word. just don't don't use those headphones and listen to us as we can go around you and we will crash hard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and stay to the right. Stay to the right. Yes. Do you think in general Disney is accommodating to wheelchair athletes? Yes and no. We are allowed to attend. We have our own tents and our own walkout, which is a total opposite way than where you go. We have our own start, but during the Disneyland races, the last couple of years where they had it, every chair athlete get a, a bike escort. And here only the first chair gets a bike escort because they find that they are important or something and they have to show the road where they have to go. 
but it makes it really scary as the rest of our chairs will be in between people. Yeah. And that makes where the hazard, the, the issue is coming from, that we are in between people who can't think about where we're going. So mm-hmm. it would be really nice if Disney World would give us bike escorts as the Disneyland team wants to come to Disney World to do that for us. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Disney World says no for years now, but they are reconsidering it. I've heard they're less accommodating now than they used to be. Mm. I I feel I heard that from fans as well, but I hope after this whole thing, now the whole Run Disney crew knows me. They, I I spoke with the manager and all. They know about this whole issue and they will try to look into it. So I hope they will do something about it. Yeah, that's wild. Well, and I mean, I even just think like we saw when Tom and I were doing, I think it was the half, um, someone in, in a chair on like one of those exit ramps that are almost like, and he's almost like completely sideways, like having, I can't even imagine. And like, and he was trying to like get people's attention and you know, it's hard. Like it's, it's scary. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. We we can't even see our course. We were at the five yeah. k, and we were asking ourselves, "Are we going left or are we going right?" Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and I was like, "I'm pretty sure we're going to the right." Uh, <laughs> Wendy actually said the same thing, didn't she? Didn't she say that she had that, like at one of the Disney races, a bunch of people got lost because, like, it wasn't oh, yeah. marked and properly. Yeah. We, we don't yeah. have any markers in front of us. No people going in front, so yeah. we have to find it out ourselves. We have That's one true. bike. That's it. Yeah. Oh. yeah, if there's only so, one guide, yeah. Yeah, That's and interesting. we have to know. Yeah. We have to know where we're going, otherwise you will get lost. Yeah, yeah. I've never thought about that because, like, you know, with like a trail race, you have like the markers on trees and stuff like that, so you follow that. But at a dis- on a road race, generally, I I'm never in a position where I would have to be the first person. No, so I'm just following the people, and I've never really thought to myself like, how would you know to make a left or a right if you're not one of the like if you didn't have all these people and you're like, oh, everyone's going to the right. Yeah, never thought about that. Yeah, it 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 was at the five k. I knew we were going right, but then you have to make a right again, and there was nobody standing there. Mm. So you have to know that you're going right, and then at test track, there's again nobody. Huh? Oh, you have to go yeah, back. So you kind of yeah. like yeah. loopy back there a little bit. Yeah, so it's weird. And yeah, we we are like kind of lost. It is that we know where we're going, but otherwise, if you would be a first timer, you would be like. I see a cast member there. I think I have to go that way. Hmm. Scavenger hunt, Disney. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> of course, scavenger hunt. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Uh, let's move into some random questions Ooh. for you. Uh, get to know you a little bit better in other ways. Uh, do you have a favorite breakfast food? Which is an odd question because I know that a lot oh, of Europeans don't eat breakfast in the same food? way that Americans do. Oh, oh really? that, that's true. We don't eat the in same way. In the same way, way. <laughs> yes, yeah, isn't, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I yeah. love Europe because think... it's just bread for breakfast. That's one of yeah, my no, favorite things. <laughs> not traditionally the way the going to be an answer that we would receive from a, an American. I know that's coming. Yeah. Oh yeah, you are right. <laughs> America, I'm like all over the bounty platters. Give me bounty platters. <laughs> but those That's those funny. cereals are too sweet, my friend. If oh, we yeah, eat cereals, yeah. they are like not that sugary. We have an adapted version of Fruit Loops, and I have never seen anybody buy it in our grocery store. <laughs> But our cereal aisle is like 10 different cereals. That's it. So, but for me, I only eat bread in the morning. Okay. (laughs) Or cheese Mm. or chocolate sprinkles, or we Mm. call it hagelslag. Mm. As this is a thing here. Mm -hmm. (laughs) This is something you don't have. And I I always bring it for my friends. It's funny. I love that. But it's it's just typical bread with some kind of meat or cheese. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's it. Yeah. 
No, that's, uh, I mean, when we, when I went to a bed and breakfast and I stayed there and they had like the breakfast, that's all it really was, was they'd bring you out bread, a hard boiled egg, some meat and cheese. And that was like, oh. yeah, that was like breakfast. <laughs> it's it like, well, if it is weekend, you make an egg and that's like the thing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well we have an actual disney question now so what is your favorite disney character live action or animated that's a really easy one <laughs> that's remy the rat from ratatouille <laughs> but i actually always say three i say remy sadness and judy hops but remy is the first one the first one as when i was younger i got cancer and that was at the moment that Ratatouille came out and uh. all my family gave me everything that exists from Ratatouille <laughs> and Remy Plush went through every operation, et cetera, with me. So now it's my character. That's your character. Okay. So if you could have one superpower, what would it be? I think I want to cure people from illnesses. Mm, that's mm. a good one. Because for me, I got cured, but every rest effect, every later effect I have, which makes life a lot more difficult. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't want other people to go through that. Mm. And spread kindness. That's awesome. That's a great answer. Ooh, okay, this will be interesting. What's the worst food you've ever eaten? Okay, I had to find a translation on Google Translate for this one. <laughs> <laughs> that one's <fun. laughs> Yeah, I, I only know the Dutch word for it, and I feel like the English translation is, I never heard of this word, but oh well, it's, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst, you're welcome. I'm just interested now. Google Translate said it's chicory, or something like that. Hmm. It's like, it's like though. It's a vegetable, which is white, and you put ham and cheese on it. And I'm like, separate, it's okay. It's it's like spelled C-H-I-C-O-R-I. Hmm. hmm. Chicory. I think I've heard of chicory, but I don't know what it is. Is it what? like an artichoke, maybe? Is it an endive? Yeah, they're like endives. Yeah, yeah but if you cook it too long, it you will get, get snotty. Oof. And people put cheese and ham on it, which makes oh. it the worst. Yeah. I, I'm okay without the cheese and the ham, but with it on, I'm like, no. Uh, is it me? Yeah. Okay. If you could go on a dream vacation, where would it be and or what would it be? I thought about this and I want to see every Disney park in the world. Mm. But I also have a scheme for every one of them in which year I want to go. So, <laughs> But the fact is, I had a make-a-wish trip. And my make-a-wish trip was to Walt Disney World. So that's where it kind of went wrong in 2016. And there's where it all started. <laughs> <laughs> I said it once, and once in a lifetime. And now I have been four times. Yeah, <laughs> but I want to see every Disney park in the world, I guess. And I want to go to Australia one day and to the Singapore airport. Oh, specifically the to the airport. Yeah. What is spe I'm not, I'm not. What is special about this airport? I feel like I'm missing something. It's out almost on something. an attraction. Oh, well, now I got to go look up the Singapore airport. <laughs> Well, now we head into the Inside the Actor Studio questions. And, of course, we start off with, what is your favorite word? I think it's or hug or I love you. But I love mm. you is not Aww. one word. And what is your least favorite word? Oh, I'm very passionate. Moist. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you so it, much it in a... this podcast talk about dirty <laughs> words. I'm really like, Look. moist, moist. Look, it gets a bad rap. <laughs> I feel like there's a place in the world for it. Oh, a lot of people Ooh. don't like that word. It's true. It's yeah. like one of the most popular words to not like. And I'm not even American, and I hate the word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, Shawnee. What turns you on? People who want to do everything for you, who 
want to spend time with you and Aww. give you attention. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As That's that great. doesn't happen a whole lot in my life. And in Walt Disney World, it happened. And I was like, I'm the most grateful person ever right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's oh, awesome. I love that. I could cry <laughs> every Aww. day. People drove two hours to sit one and a half hours with me to drive two hours home. Oh, oh my gosh. I love On that. Marathon day, I spent like 23 hours awake. I sat on Main Street for six hours with a friend just talking with Starbucks and Mm. then both crying over the fire. Oh, Oh, I love it. That's like perfect. Yeah. Yeah. With a bit of popcorn. And I was like, this is life right now. (laughs) All right. Well, okay. So sub question, what's your Starbucks drink? Okay. This is a difficult one. As in the Netherlands, we have Starbucks, but we don't have that much drinks. Oh. But I had the mango passion fruit or oh. mango gr- grapefruit passion fruit refresher. Yeah, yeah. refreshers. It was like heaven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and everything with peach. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like the, the peach green tea lemonade. It's like my yeah. go to in the summer. Yeah, but the thing is, we don't get them at all. Last year, we had a limited edition, it was the pink drink. No, oh, that was like, oh. Drink. Oh. Yeah. it's because Americans are excessive, and we like all of our all drinks to have like eight hundred like <laughs> sugars in it, sugars in it, and like you pointed out, <laughs> Europeans are not the same in that way. You know what's the worst? <laughs> they are not even allowed to sell the real Dole Whip in Europe oh. because they are so much added ingredients. Oh. <laughs> I feel like we should adopt some of those practices. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. But okay, yeah. so okay, so what turns you off? Um, people who are slow when you have to get somewhere. I yeah. want to be on time, and those people who slow you down. <laughs> yeah, I had this happen during marathon weekend, where my bus driver, as I have a personal bus driver every morning, he came. 15 minutes early and my roommates were not ready and oh. he left and then I had to wait for him again. Oh, and no. I was like, I'm always there early for these occasions. Yeah. <laughs> I I hate to be late. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. What sound or noise do you love? Uh, This is a weird one. If I ever hear the background music from Ratatouille, you mm. have me instantly smile. Mm. And some people that. don't hear it, but we have a channel in the Netherlands, which is now part of Disney. And after normal, during normal TV programs, we hear background music from Disney movies. Mm. And I'm here like, <gasps> even though I'm not <laughs> interested in the program. And I hear it and I'm like, oh, it makes me always smile. <laughs> and then what sound or noise do you hate fireworks oh, oh interesting i hate new year's oh uh. god <laughs> yeah i, I mean, know oh. in disney when they will come and i still hate them okay yes, i i have an issue with noise okay and when i don't know when the noise comes i get irritated by yeah. it and <laughs> those fireworks you feel in your heart and i'm like yeah i don't like this feeling yeah nope. fireworks <laughs> isn't it <laughs> even in soren i hate it oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah the yeah, end yeah, yeah. yeah i didn't yeah. think about that yeah yeah all right um i don't do do you have a favorite american curse word i thought about this yes <laughs> Yes, I do. I a lot of times use anything with <laughs> in it. Like <laughs> what the fuck and fuck this. Uh-huh. Yes. But also like oh my god, some people find that a curse word and I'm here yeah, like some people do, yeah. yeah. I don't know. And in Dutch, we have way more curse words and we also curse with illnesses. There's a finesse to use... it. <laughs> yeah, people use 
the worst words, but I also use some, but those are like no illnesses that are happening right now. Like okay. the tearing and the typhus. Mm. Mm. We don't have them anymore. <laughs> okay. So they're used as curse words? Oh. Yeah. But Interesting. The, like in the, what in what context? Tifus Jantje and gewoon it are just curse words. <laughs> in sentence. I don't know. <laughs> but I love people it. also use the word cancer as a curse word here, and I get mad every time people do that. Oh, that's that's interesting. interesting. I'm not okay with that. Yeah, but that's... it's like pretty normal under young people here. Huh. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm not okay with it. Yeah, that seems like I will too... never use that as yeah. a can- as a cancer survivor, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Um. All right. So, what profession would you like to attempt? The thing I wanted to be always in my life was a brain surgeon. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! But I'm not even a nurse, <laughs> as they didn't allow me to do the study. No. <laughs> So now I am am exactly nothing. <laughs> I think you're more than that. <laughs> o- officially, I don't have a job right now. I was a graphic designer, but unpaid. Oh. So right now I am exactly nothing other than a wheelchair athlete and not a <laughs> professional one. <laughs> well, what profession, if you had the opportunity, would you not like to do? <laughs> I thought about this as well. I don't want to be on the back of a trash car. Yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah, a trash yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't That's even fair. stand for that long, so it will never happen. But yeah, no, I don't want to work with trash. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's fair. Yeah. All right. Well, I get the privilege of asking you our final question. But before I do, thank you very much for being oh, with us. Oh, it's been so good. Um, so if heaven exists... What would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? You did the best you could with what you got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's great. Li- yeah. Life life goes up and down. Life gives you, throws you curveballs. You did the best you could. Yeah. That's amazing. It's a great attitude, too. Yeah. Do you want to give any shout outs, any parting words of wisdom, anything you want to plug? Uh, I want to plug my Instagram as mm-hmm. I'm not really, and maybe my Facebook page, if there are Dutch people listening who don't follow me yet, which the chance is really small. <laughs> hey, judging from the numbers, I think it's you and Laura that listen. Yeah. So. <laughs> exactly. Um, my uh, Facebook page about Run Disney is Run Disney Fans Nether- Nederland. Oh, okay. Right. Netherlands in your case, mm-hmm. but it's called Nederland. And my Instagram name is at Shawnee Healthy Lifestyle, but I want to change it someday, but I'm not sure in what. <laughs> Something with roll, but oh yeah, that's cool. uh, okay. I'm not sure yeah. what. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that cool. and I'm also collecting money for a charity. You have the Beach of Courage in America. We it it comes from the Netherlands. And for that charity, I'm doing a cycling tour in August to collect money to do that. And only cancer survivors who had it at a children's age can attend. And that link oh, will wow. also be in my Instagram bio to awesome. donate there. All right. Awesome. We will make sure we put that in the show notes uh, if you don't mind emailing that to me. That's okay. <laughs> anything, anything else you want to leave us with? Um, Roll Disney is also run Disney. Just look out for us. Yeah. We are very grateful if you do. They should yeah. have um. They should have Roll Disney merch. We do have that. Do you? A friend oh. of mine from Australia made us t-shirts and pins. Oh, there you go. But oh, Disney should do something well, official. Disney should do Disney something should do official something. for you guys. Where yeah. instead we, of saying like, run Disney, it should be with the Roll Disney and a logo. Yep. We have our own logo. Oh. <laughs> well, you should send it to Disney and be like, put this on some official merch. Official oh, merch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they know our logo. 
I love it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And I know like the time zones are weird. So we really, really appreciate you. And it's been so great. So thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I love to join. Absolutely. So I will awkwardly close this out by saying thank you very much. We really do appreciate you. And we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.